morning for you. Hurricane Debbie making landfall in Florida within the last hour. Check out this live video we have for you in Taylor County. The main concerns are clearly heavy rain, catastrophic flooding as the storm moves slowly across Florida, Georgia and South Carolina. So Greg Fields has been tracking this storm. Uh, Greg, that is the concern, right? I mean, we understand it's it's not just at the size of it, but how quickly it moves. Well, yeah, and it is moving very slowly. So we are talking about tremendous amounts of rain as it uh, moves up the uh, up through South Georgia a little bit to later on today. But the center of that circulation with Hurricane Debbie came on shore a little bit uh, earlier here this morning over the uh, past hour or so with those 80 mile per hour winds. So it was a category one hurricane when it did make landfall in the Florida Big Bend, and it will continue uh, to work its way north and northeast and eventually getting back out over the open waters of the Atlantic. We'll show you that track here in just a moment. But that peak storm surge, we're talking about six to 10 feet above normal tides. So we're talking about tremendous amounts of storm surge that water moving inland or through the uh, Big Bend area pushing inland. So we're talking about tremendous amounts of flooding just with that storm surge. Not only the uh, heavy rain, but that storm surge flooding will cause a lot of uh, problems there as well. And that threat for severe weather will be there. That slight risk for severe storms. So with these landfalling hurricanes and the center of that circulation in and close to that, we are talking about that threat for some tornadoes. So we do have a tornado watch. You can see through the uh, Florida Peninsula up into a uh, South Georgia near Savannah. Still looking at the it's, uh, tornado watch that's in effect right now. So the track of the storm again, it's going to take it up into South Georgia, maybe moving back out over the Atlantic and then get could make a second landfall later this week uh, around uh, Charleston there in South Carolina. So we're going to be talking about Debbie. It looks like all week long before it finally weakens maybe later this week as we head into the weekend somewhere up into a North Carolina. But the rainfall with this tremendous amounts of rain we're going to be talking about. It's only moving in around 10 miles per hour or so. So we're talking about 12 to 16 inches at least as we head a little farther south down into South Georgia, but it could get up to 16 to 20 inches plus in some areas as we get up into the Carolinas. So, so yes, tremendous amounts of rain associated with Debbie uh, as well over the next several days. Now we could use a little rain here across North Texas, but it looks like we are going to stay hot and dry. Very hot for us a little bit later this week. Taking you out to Love Field right now. We're looking at 79 degrees. Feels like it's 82. So this is about as good as it's going to get uh, temperature wise, not only uh, for this morning, but this week. In fact, those overnight lows will be coming up for us too. 74 heading over to uh, Rockwall right now. 72 getting out to Wiley. We'll see those highs today in the upper 90s. We should normally be around 97, so we're going to be maybe a few degrees above that or a couple of degrees anyway. So today, not too bad at all, maybe just below 100, but that will change later this week with high pressure firmly in control. Later this week, we will see those temperatures soaring to near record highs as we head toward the middle of the week and rain changes slim to just about none really for us with the triple digits going to be back with us by tomorrow and look we're going to be in the neighborhood of those record highs it looks like the hottest days this week will be Wednesday and Thursday with those highs approaching the record highs of 106 and 107 on Wednesday and Thursday so here's that 14 day forecast for you the heat is on over the next several days temperatures only come down slightly later this week on Friday only around 102, maybe around 100 as we get into Saturday and Sunday going to be in the upper 90s. But as the rest of North Texas, the major school districts in Dallas and Fort Worth go back next Monday on the 12th, you see the second part of that 14 day forecast, more triple digit heat. All right, let's get over to the station. One more check on traffic.